Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and today you will learn about Quino classification of the liver anatomy. According to Quino classification, there are 8 liver segments labeled from 1 to 8. Each segment has its own portal venous, hepatic arterial and biliary supply. The middle hepatic vein divides the liver into right and left lobes. The right hepatic vein divides the right lobe into anterior and posterior segments and the left hepatic vein separates the medial and lateral segments of the left lobe. We will be looking at both CT and ultrasound images. This CT image is in longitudinal plane. It is rotated in a way that it matches the ultrasound image on the right which is also in longitudinal plane. This is just for understanding. These are left lobes of the liver in both the images. In the ultrasound image, when you place the probe in this manner, just below the sternum, in a longitudinal orientation, you get this type of image. So when you see the left lobe, the superior aspect of the left lobe, which touches the diaphragm, is segment 2. This is segment 2. And the inferior aspect of the left lobe of liver is segment 3. So segment 2 and segment 3 are segments of the left lobe. And you can see them in longitudinal plane. And down here you see a hyperechoic bright line. This is the ligamentum venosum. And just below this white line is the caudate lobe. So in this view, you will see segments 1, 2 and 3. This is another image showing segments 1, 2 and 3. This hyperechoic border around the caudate lobe is ligamentum venosum. It is a landmark for locating the caudate lobe in this view. This is a coronal CT image showing the liver, the anterior aspect of the liver. Segments 2 and 3 are in the left lobe. Segment 4 is divided into 4A, superior, and 4B, inferior. It is basically the middle part of the liver. Segment 4 is between the falciform ligament and the middle hepatic vein. It is near the gallbladder fossa. Segments 4A and 2 are touching the diaphragm. And segment 4B is in contact with the gallbladder. The ultrasound image on the right is in transverse plane. The probe is placed in a transverse orientation with the indicator towards the patient's right. The probe is moved away from the midline towards the right, just touching the coastal margin, or in some cases it is placed between the ribs in the intercoastal spaces. To get a transverse image of the liver, we can also see the IVC and aorta in cross section. Once you get this type of image, you will find a hyperechoic bright line. This is the ligamentum venosum. And just posterior to the ligamentum venosum is the caudate lobe, segment 1. In transverse plane, the caudate lobe is seen between the IVC and the ligamentum venosum. This upper part of the liver is segment 3. The probe is placed in a way where we can see segment 3 anteriorly and segment 4. Laterally, it is segment 4B. Basically, the probe is placed at this point of the liver and transverse plane. You can also see the portal vein over here. In this axial or transverse image of the liver, you can also see the falciform ligament fissure. This image shows the lower aspect of the left lobe, which is segment 3. Adjacent to segment 3 will be segment 4b 
on the other side of the falciform ligament. So segment 4B and 3 are next to each other. And posteriorly, you will see the ligamentum venosum fissure in the CT image. Posterior to the ligamentum venosum is caudate lobe. This is caudate lobe, segment 1. This is the same level at which the ultrasound image is taken. You can see the ligamentum venosum in both the images with the caudate lobe posterior to this ligament and the IVC is also present at this point. This is the IVC. So the caudate lobe is between the ligamentum venosum and IVC. And anterior to the ligamentum venosum is segment 3. This image is obtained by angling the probe towards the patient's head in transverse orientation. This is the reason we see a part of segment 2 posterior to segment 3. The left portal vein is also visible and this thin hyperechoic line is ligamentum venosum. Segment 1 is between the IVC and ligamentum venosum. A part of segment 4 is also visible. This is also a transverse image with a probe placed in a transverse orientation through the ribs and angled towards the patient's head. This type of image is formed when you see the right hepatic vein and the middle hepatic vein. Just remember, segment 8 will be between the middle hepatic vein and the right hepatic vein. Segment 8 is in contact with the diaphragm. This part is segment 8. Segment 8 is the anterior superior part of the right lobe. The probe is placed at this point of the liver, which is why we see segment 5 anteriorly. But because of angling towards the patient's head, we are seeing the superior and posterior structures of the liver in the lower half of the image. Segment 7 is behind segment 8, which is why it is seen below segment 8 in the ultrasound image. Segment 7 will be between the right hepatic vein and the diaphragm. Segment 7 is the posterior superior portion of the right lobe. These are the superior parts of the liver. We are seeing them because of angling. The diaphragm and the hepatic veins are visible and segment 4A which is in contact with the diaphragm is also visible. You get this image when you place the probe parallel and just below the coastal margin. In this way, you can see all three hepatic veins. This is the left hepatic vein. It is between segment 2 and segment 4A. Segments 2 and 4A are in contact with the diaphragm. So segment 2 is near the left hepatic vein. Segment 4A will be between middle and left hepatic veins. This is segment 4A. And as we saw earlier, segment 8 is between right and middle hepatic veins. And segment 7 will be seen between the diaphragm and the right hepatic vein. The probe is angled towards the patient's right shoulder. We are seeing the superior parts of the liver at the lower half of the image. The diaphragm is also seen at the lower part of the image. When you locate the gallbladder in longitudinal view and you get this type of image, just remember the segment that is anterior to the gallbladder will be segment 5. This is the gallbladder in the CT image in coronal plane. The ultrasound probe is somewhat placed in this manner. You can see segment 5 next to the gallbladder. Segment 5 is the anterior inferior part of right lobe. In the CT image, segment 7 is behind segment 8 on the superior aspect of the liver. Both segments 7 and 8 are in contact with the diaphragm. As we saw earlier, segments 2 and 4A 
are at the superior aspect of the liver. Segment 7 is the posterior superior portion of the right lobe and segment 8 is the anterior superior part of the right lobe. In this image, the probe is placed in a longitudinal plane between the ribs. The probe is placed in this manner. We are basically at the center of the liver. Here we will see segments 4A and 4B. Segment 4A is seen superiorly towards the patient's head or towards the diaphragm and segment 4B is seen inferiorly. The portal vein is seen in cross-section. Now we are moving downwards in the CT image. As we go down, we will see a small part of segment 4B near the gallbladder or just anterior to the gallbladder. This is segment 4B. Posterior and lateral to the gallbladder is segment 5. This is segment 5. Segment 5 is the right anterior inferior part of the right lobe. And segment 6 is seen behind segment 5. It is the right posterior inferior part of the right lobe. Segment 6 is the lowest part of the right lobe. It includes the inferior liver margin. In the ultrasound image, the probe is moved laterally more towards the patient's right. The liver is scanned through the intercostal spaces. The diaphragm is visible, which means we are at the superior part of the liver. When the probe is placed in this manner, we see the posterior parts of the liver. So this is the posterior superior aspect, which means this is segment 7. Segment 7 is the posterior superior part of the right lobe. So this upper half is segment 7 and this lower part is segment 6. This image is more commonly used while scanning. So when you see the liver and the kidney in longitudinal plane, just remember the part of the liver near the diaphragm is segment 7 and the lower part of the liver is segment 6. This is segment 6. In the CT image, we have moved posteriorly and we can see the posterior segments, segment 7 and segment 6. Segment 6 is the posterior inferior portion and segment 7 is the posterior superior portion. Segment 6 is behind segment 5 and segment 7 is behind segment 8. In the coronal images, when you see the kidney and the spine, just remember the upper half of the liver will be segment 7 and the lower half will be segment 6. When you get this longitudinal image of the liver, when you see the right portal vein and a U-shaped diaphragm, then you can see segments 8 and 5 anteriorly and segments 7 and 6 posteriorly. The probe is placed somewhat in this manner. Segment 7 is seen posterior to segment 8 and segment 6 is seen posterior to segment 5. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.